Hey guys, welcome back. I'm doing a video on um, a new batch file I wrote. So I've shot this video once before and I rendered it and everything, but I just didn't like the way it went, so I'm redoing it. And this file, I should get. I should actually tell you what the file does now, huh? 20 seconds into the video, I haven't even said a word about it. So what this file does is, upon run, it will access the file transport servers that Mozilla uses to download Firefox 9.0. Well, obviously it downloads executable because I'm on Windows, but you could do it to grab really any version of 9.0 or 9.1 or whatever version of Firefox you wanted because they're all there on the file transport server. Now it uses this through something called file transport protocol or FTP, and that is something that you can do on a command prompt. So you take a look. FTP. Oh, I gotta connect anonymously. My bad. And you see I successfully uh, connected anonymously to Mozilla's release server. So now I can uh, navigate to it, but I don't remember the exact address, so that's why I wrote this batch file, because it remembers the exact address, and I don't have to remember it every time I want to download that file. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, what's really the use of something like this? And that's a good question. Now, my main reason is more of a joke than anything, and it's because you don't have to use Internet Explorer to download Firefox anymore. You can just do it this way. Now, a more legitimate reason would probably be like, let's say um, you've got IE4 and it crashes every time you try and do anything, or your only browser is too bogged down to work, or for some reason, somehow, some way, you've managed to have no web browsers on your operating system. I'm not sure how any of these things really could happen, but I, I made the file. Why not? So I guess I should go ahead and run it now. Now, I've also transported it onto my uh, virtual machine, but the last time I tried to do this, I was unsuccessful. Because I think what happened is the request timed out. Like, Mozilla just kicked me off their servers and said, you're taking too long. But um, I can show you everything up to installing it, because I'm not going to install Mozilla since I already have it on my computer. All right, so this is the basic title screen. It tells you what the file does, and it gives you a link to their FTP server that I'm using. At this point, it loads its commands off this readme right here. Now before when I wrote the file, what I did was, I had the user input commands, but upon some research, and uh, I've had to thank Stack Overflow for this, I was able to figure out that you can just read commands off a file. Alright, at this point you say yes, and it brings you into the install. Now I'm not going to install Mozilla because I already have it, like I said, but I'll do that, and it tells you that it either terminated it or um, it finished. Now I'll run you through the actual specifics of this file real quick. It obviously doesn't delete this because that would be inefficient. But I'll run you through the specifics of the file, like what does the uh, syntax look like. Alright, here we go. So um, we see echo off, I made the title, I cleared the screen. Here's my title screen that you guys saw. There's the pause so you can read it. Uh, after hitting enter, I cleared the screen. I changed my directory to the desktop. And this is my new this is my new variable for doing that before I would do... um something like cdc home path c desktop but it's more efficient to do it that way now because I don't have to worry about their home drive like I suppose you could do it like uh, this let's see if I can do it right goodness gracious home drive home path desktop and um, I'll navigate to a, another directory and you could navigate like that, but that's a pain in the neck, and it's a lot easier to just use the user profile variable, which I know is at least on XP and 7. So anyways, moving on, <laughs> I uh, auxiliary script that file in, so I have it on the desktop. I run all my commands. This suppresses all server commands so that it's not spamming it. This logs in anonymously so you can actually do stuff, and this reads it from the readme. This obviously is the host. I clear the screen again. I have a lot of clear screens in here I probably could clean up, but I really don't. I command to go to this executable that I just downloaded because it has to download it for this to go through. And then this is a conditional that you guys saw. So if that file exists on the desktop, which is the directory we're currently in, then it will go to the success label. And if it doesn't, it will go to the failure label. Both cases, it will delete the readme, pause, and then go to the end, which is here, which is obviously the end of the file at 49 lines. So that's the basic lowdown of the file. Now I'm going to try and run it on my virtual machine. Like I said last time, it failed because it timed out, I believe. But maybe it'll work this time. 
Maybe it'll work this time. I gotta cross my fingers, right? So I'll pause the video and I'll come back when I'm on that virtual machine and ready to show you. Alright, so here we are on my horribly glitched, missing most of the fonts, Windows XP virtual machine. Um, I already transported the file on here because I did this earlier. And you can see the code is exactly the same. Nothing different. Oh, just a quick heads up. I will obviously draw up the paste bin, a Dropbox to download the TXT file, and that's it, into the description of this video. Because if anyone ever wants to get these, then that's cool. Um, I've left steps in there to show you how to do it, but it really isn't that hard. I can demonstrate in 10 seconds here. Matter of fact, why not? So um, I'll just drop this in its own separate directory so I can show you guys live. Alright, so let's see you've got the full file here. You just go in here, you go to Open, and you go to File, Save As. Now, I've noticed an interesting uh, bug almost on the Windows operating system is when you try and convert a batch back to a TXT, you have to actually add the extension TXT. Like if you just use TXT and leave it like this, it will save the batch again. But that's not important in this case. So you you go here, you save as type, you change that to all files rather than text document, and you add the extension .bat onto the end, and you hit save. And now you'll notice you have a, an operating batch file in the folder. So there you go. All right. So here we go. Let's see what happens. So everything's going. Now this is a step where it doesn't work because it takes too long to get the file and it crashes out. That's the problem. Now while that's running, I'm going to see if I can figure out if there's something I can do to override the timeout switch. Wow, uh, that's not good. You see that? The actual command crashed out. Oh, I know what I did. My bad. <laughs> Can't type today. There we go. That'll probably give me the uh, help sec. What? What? It doesn't give me my help section. The actual FTP command is crashing out. It's probably because it's busy with Mozilla right now. Speaking of that, we'll see if that succeeds or not. So you see, it's taking a very long time to get that executable. And see what happened is, it didn't work properly, so <clears throat> you get this error. Firefox set up a 9.0.exe is not a valid Win32 application because if you look at the actual file that you have on your desktop, you will notice that the file is zero bytes. Because I'm guessing what happened is, it got through some of the download, but it just wasn't happening, so it deleted all the temp data and killed it. So FTP should be re-available now. Oh, this won't work. So I wait for that to uh, work or not work. I will um, hop on the internet and see if I can figure anything out for it. Google.com. WinXP FTP error. No, that's oh I. Though that's the first problem I had is that I was getting hit with firewall issues, but that's not a big deal. Wait. They might be blocking it. Hold up. Maybe I can fix it. Win XP FTP firewall. Exception. How to allow FTP for port in Windows Firewall. Uh, let's see what this guy says. You need to change your Windows Firewall settings. Click on... I should on the actual computer. Yeah, I see it killed it because it was taking too long. Probably because the download wasn't happening. Um, so we gotta go start, control panel, 
Um, then go to Security Center. As you can see, um, you know what? You know what? Can I just turn this off? Uh, I hit the help page. Screwed. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, let's try running it one more time. Let's just dump this real quick to the recycle bin. Yeah. Let's see if the firewall's blocking it. Because I did notice that issue. The first time I ran this batch file, I got a firewall prompt. I thought I said give an exception, but I may have made a mistake. And if that's the case, it won't allow this to download. Um, I'm going to research a little more on that problem while this does it. Oh, you've got to reset the machine. Nah. I don't think so. It's clearly already telling me it isn't working. I'm not sure what's up with that. I'm going to do a little more research and I'll get back to you guys. So I will pause the video and I'll come back when I have a definite. Alright, so I'm not sure exactly what's up, but... I'm just going to try resetting this. I already reset it. I'm just going to try running the file again, and uh, we'll see if it works. And if not, maybe you guys can figure out why it doesn't work, because I really don't know. I'm I, I'm really surprised it doesn't work. I think it has something to do with the firewall, but I disabled that completely, and it, it still doesn't work. Or at least I think I did. Let's go check to make sure it didn't reactivate itself on its own. You horrible, horrible thing. I'm pretty sure I told you to turn yourself off. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure I explicitly went in there and turned it off. Turn on Windows Firewall. It says it's on, however, it clearly says it's off here. Uh, wish I understood. Oh, no firewall turned on all of a sudden. Let's see if, uh, the... Yeah, it looks like it's gonna not work again. Terminate it. Yeah. So, I don't know what's up. I really don't know why it isn't working. That's kind of a disappointment, but if you guys know why, be sure to let me know. And I really don't have anything else to say about this. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.